Some things have drastically changed and some things have stayed the same. I want to give you another COVID-19 real estate update. Hey y'all, it's Kelly Salter, Realtor in Coastal North Carolina. I know these times are uncertain and trying for so many. If you or someone you know is in need, please send us a private message and we'll do everything we can to help. Now, for the real estate update. Some things are still the same, but there is a lot that has changed or looks drastically different. Real estate has been deemed essential by the governor of North Carolina. Buyers are still buying and sellers are still selling. For many parts of the country, the pandemic has accelerated trends they've never seen before, like virtual home buying. Buyers are never stepping foot into houses, purchasing them sight unseen. We have always been ahead of a traditional real estate process because of our military population. Virtual home buying is our way of life. We often show and sell houses to people who have never actually stepped foot in the house. Home buying is still going strong. In just the past week, we've seen more than 70 pending home sales. But what's more interesting is that our showings have gone from physical to virtual. Home buyers are looking at homes through 3D tours, FaceTime, Zoom, Facebook Live, Facebook Messenger. They're touring these houses without ever leaving the safety of their home, and that is drastically different. I'd also like to share that given the current circumstances, the number of transactions happening is still high. Where things really change is with homeowners that are looking to sell. Most homeowners that were already in the process of selling have gone on the market and gotten an offer or pivoted to a virtual marketing plan, but people that were just thinking about selling have hit the pause button. What does that mean for our market? A lot of our homeowners that plan to sell this spring are pausing and planning to come on the market once we're through these uncertain times. The number one question that I've been asked for years is when is the best time to sell my house? Is it the fall, the spring, in a crisis, or a pandemic? When? The answer is when there is less inventory. So this period of time, whether it's weeks or months, many homeowners are holding off is gonna be a great opportunity for homeowners to sell their home. What's going to happen is that everybody who's waiting to sell is gonna come on the market at the exact same time, creating a surplus. There will be more supply than demand, and it's going to be harder to sell. What am I doing to accommodate my clients during these strange times? My team and I are equipped to work from home and we haven't stopped working. We're still selling our clients homes and still helping buyers find their new houses. We're following the CDC guidelines, no open houses, no group meetings. We're doing everything we can to make sure that safety is our number one priority. For buyers, we're offering virtual tours for any house on the market and have the technology to allow our clients to never leave their current homes. It's been a very popular option and it's helpful to keep our clients safe and healthy. For sellers, the process has changed slightly. The traditional post and pray strategy where a house is listed and the agent prays a buyer will come along, that's a thing of the past. Exceptional marketing is needed right now more than ever before. We offer successful and competitive marketing techniques across several platforms. We offer free virtual staging consultations with our clients where we offer our checklist to success. And that checklist is a blueprint to help you prepare your home to go on the market. Another service we offer is professional photography. Our photography company is working with us to create 3D tours of every house, and this will ensure that we have the best marketing to offer you the competitive advantage. We're including 3D tours on every house so that potential buyers can navigate them from anywhere in the world. All of this will make a massive difference. What I know is a lot of you may be thinking about selling and you're not ready for that 3D tour yet. You still have to position things, you may need to declutter, you wanna take things out, and that's why we know that our virtual staging consultations are so critical ahead of that tour. Now you're probably thinking, of course Kelly's gonna say the real estate market is steady moving. What I would say is go online and look at how many homes have gone from active to pending. Ask your friends, are you searching for real estate right now? Now that so many of us have more time at home and are looking for things to do, we wanna search for homes. What has really happened is the spring market has just been delayed a little, but it's still intact. So there are really two sides to it. We have a lot of sellers that are delaying inventory to come on the market, but we also have a lot of home buyers that are still moving forward with purchasing homes because now they can do it virtually. Think about everything else that we do virtually in our world. We order groceries, we book travel, we order almost anything and everything online. We do it all from our phones, our laptops, and our tablets, and real estate is no different. 
Many people are moving forward with transactions without ever seeing them physically. So that's all I've got for you today. If you have any additional real estate questions, just post them below. And again, if you know someone that's in need or a small business that we can help right now, please send us a message. We are a pillar in the community and we're gonna do whatever we can to be generous and give back. Y'all stay safe and stay healthy.